Hey, what is going on guys? Root of the Null here, coming back at you with some more batch tutorials. Now I'm going to get the Windows command line fired up here and show you guys what's going on today. Now, in the last video, we took a look at Echo, which was, uh, which was displaying, it's almost a command to actually display information. We were able to display text, we were able to pass in variables and that sort of thing. But uh, that's kind of exactly what I want to talk about. We were actually passing in information to the echo command. Because when we ran echo without any uh, arguments or anything after it, it displayed echo is on. So it'll do something if you don't give anything to it, but when you give things to it, like this is some text, it does something with it. Obviously, it displays it out onto the screen. But see, we're passing in something to Echo. We're, we're applying more arguments, or what we call parameters, to the program. Now, we can do this with a lot of different commands and things like that. See, we had the dir command quite a while ago, and uh, we were in that, we would just display the contents of everything. <laughs> Uh, at least display the contents of the current directory that we're in. So we've got all these things here. We've got other directories, got the parent directory, we've got my desktop and that sort of thing. So we can actually pass a whole nother, um, uh, a whole nother file system or a whole nother path to the dir command. And instead of looking at the current directory in your shell, it'll go ahead and display the contents of everything in that folder that you passed to it. So if we passed in dir and then we used a space right after it to denote a whole other argument set. If we did dir desktop, it'll display everything in my desktop. See, directory of C users, John Hammond, desktop. And if we did it normally, it would just be using C users, John Hammond. We're actually giving something new to the program. So uh, that really kind of makes things a little, a little interesting. Uh, volume is another program that actually uses this. It's, uh, it's vol, or vol. Now, if we run this without any parameters or arguments, you see volume in drive C has no label. So by default, it's going to use your uh, your your uh, hard drive that you normally use. It's mounted at the C position. You normally you're on C position. See right here, the C colon. It'll use that one by default. But if we passed in like the D drive, it'll it'll take a look at that one. Volume in drive D is recovery instead of the one that we were looking at in the C drive. We can use E that device doesn't happen to be ready. We can even use ones that don't actually aren't actually set up yet. The system cannot find the path specified. But all I'm really trying to show you in this video is that you can send in or just supply more arguments or parameters to a command statement to have it act in a different way, to have it do something new with what the, with the information you're giving it. And we did that in Echo, we did that with DIR just now, and we did that with Volume. So really we can actually even supply some some of this functionality to the scripts that we write, and there's a whole lot we can do with this, and it really is just giving us another alternative to be able to work with information and data. So uh, that's all for this video, though. Something real simple, because you guys already know what we're working with. You just have been working with it all this time. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll be looking at arguments more and more later on. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.